Yo, so today is January 26th, and um, probably an hour ago, like many of you guys, I got the news that Kobe Bryant and several other people and his daughter, his daughter, his daughter passed away. I can't even lie, man. Like, I wasn't, like, I was always, like, on, you know, back and forth with the Jordan Kobe thing. Like, I was a Jordan fan, but I loved Kobe. I watched the games. Whenever I could see him, I still, like, you know, always watched him. I love to watch him play, man. And I had to go get some tape. I, I was just thinking about him, thinking about him more, man. I just broke down in the store and started crying. I'm like, I don't even know why I'm crying. And then I do. So I wanted to make a video real quick just to kind of send my condolences to the family, to all the millions, if not billions of fans worldwide. This dude is going to be missed. He's going to be so deeply missed. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think it's because I, uh, the, 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 the lesson... Like, his life presented so much for us to pull from. I remember when all this stuff happened back in the day with him, you know, having an affair or whatever that whole sort of thing was. And I just remember, like, like, like his, his, his mistake <laughs> affected all of us. It was like, collectively, he stood for something so much bigger, you know. Um, got through that. He got back to the game. Loving father, you've seen him with his kids, some of the documentaries and the things. I think he, the path he started to go on after retirement, you could just see he was starting to put more out into the world and just such positive good things, man. So, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I was in uh, Walgreens, literally just getting some tape, trying to wrap up some gifts, uh, like pre-Valentine's Day gifts. And it just hit me. I just started crying. So, let it out. It's cool. We all love them. Um, if you're a huge fan, man, my heart goes out to you. One of my best friends, James. Like, I literally, I had to hit him up like, yo, like, are you okay? Like, and that's impact. That's how deep Kobe's impact was, man. Like, I don't care who you are. You know somebody and probably a black man. Probably a black man who, like, loves this dude. Has never met him. Maybe never even got the chance to see him play, but loves him like you would not believe. Maybe they look up to him like a brother, uncle, father. I don't know. And it's something deeper than going th than just the court, man. Like we saw him at his best. Like we saw excellence with Kobe. And you know, it's like, like I'm about to be forty. He died at forty-one, and he he accomplished so much. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm in the car, I'm driving back. I'm like, God, like, like to 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 accomplish as much as he did. You know, and for me to be very transparent, like one of the, the last things I can hope for in this lifetime to experience is being a father and being a husband. Like I'm not married. I've never been married. I ain't never even proposed to nobody. Those two things like I want to experience. I want to see my child, raise my child. Like I want to marry somebody. I want to put a ring on somebody's finger and, and experience that side of reality, that, that side of life. You know, because being single, you know, it's like you just worry about you. I want that responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So when I look at him and I'm like, oh my God, he died with his, his daughter was in the, it was, now here's the thing. If you've never been in a helicopter, for the most part, they're very small. Like I was in one with like four people, uh, one, two, th uh, three people in Las Vegas. They're small. They like little cars. Now I know we've probably seen Transformers, the movies, military. You see some of the bigger ones. The one they were in, I mean, he's rich, so it's probably a nice one. But they're not huge. Like, they're, they don't give you that feeling of safety like an airplane does. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, I hate to say, but I'm trying to picture it. I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, to to feel it going down and to be with your child. Because, you know, it's like, you you know, he wanted her to have a long life and to live and to get married and see her do stuff. And, oh, my God, like his wife. I'm like, how do you tell how do you tell a woman that her husband? Yeah, yeah her daughter just died. Like, how do you do that? How do you say that? Dang. I don't know. My heart goes out to him. Um, man, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I literally don't. Kobe was dope, man. He, like, and for me right now, I'm just like, yo, like, I just was telling my mother early today, I was like, yo, life ain't promised. Hold on. It's his book. 
This book I'm reading, I just got. It's called Fight Less, Love More. Dope book, right? Five conversations to change your relationship without blowing up or giving in, right? So it just gives you techniques, strategies to like work through stuff, right? And I was just saying to my mother, I'm like, you know, if if more like more people wouldn't fight as much, like so much stuff in life is so not important when you realize tomorrow is not promised. You don't know when you're leaving. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like now, like, God. What can I do? What can I like? How can I live greater today than I did tomorrow than I did today? How can I live with uh, walking in my gifts more? How can I give more? How can I? Um, I want to. I want to live a life of significance. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what Kobe Kobe represented to a lot of black men. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about that connection. Pop him. You know, like you. You're never gonna. Rem you're never gonna forget where you were this day. You're not. It's going to be just like Tupac. You're going to remember forever. This, this generation, they say a generation is 40 years. I'm about to be 40. So people who are probably like, what, 20 to 60, you are not going to forget this day. You're not going to forget the, this day that the Mamba left us. And he went on, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, to a better, much better place. They say to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. Um, whew. So yeah, um, we gonna miss them. I love them. I know you love them. Even if you just love to talk about them or do the Jordan versus Kobe debate, he was one of the greatest on the court. Arguably the greatest. Um, he was a loyal father, loving husband. And I think it's really that simple. It's that simple, man. Like as a man, I just like just to, for people for me to go and people people to be able to say that that they knew I love my wife and I was there for my children I was I was I was responsible god so for that man I celebrate his life I don't know how many points he scored I don't know how many triple doubles he had I don't even know how many championships he got I was about to look that that type of stuff up in this video but I was like no nah, man just speak from the heart um he's going to be missed He's going to be missed. And I think the second thing I got too, man, is the people in your life right now that you love, that you ain't get it right. Whatever the issue is, get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Whatever the issue is, get it right. Call them. Say, I'm sorry. It does, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. These barriers we have with family and friends, these things that we let like rip relationships apart, they might be gone tomorrow. So hopefully... Hopefully we all going we going to walk a little different tomorrow. And I'm specifically still talking to black men cuz Kobe gave us the model, man. He was disciplined, his drive, the way he approached that court, his confidence, man. He was free. He was a free man, you know what I'm saying? Um and I mean free by his mindset of what he expected to accomplish, what he knew he could accomplish. There's a confidence and a of just a raw, you know, this thing that I can't even put I can't even put into words. That I know we all need more of. Because it helps us in our career. It helps us to love better. It helps us to be better fathers. It helps us to be present fathers. Um, loyal husbands. You know what I'm saying? That that same confidence. That that God thing that he put in Kobe. That you can see. It's important. And it's in all of us, man. So, I'm done. Uh, Kobe, rest in peace, my brother. 41 years of life. You You showed us so much. You gave us so much. You gave us a lot. And I'm out. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Peace.